We are so excited to welcome in the Big East goalkeeper of the week, Marquette's Ludwig Malberg. Congratulations on this honor. Your team, 4-0, it's still early on in this uh, early season, but what is this honor like for you and for your team to have this recognition? Uh, well, thank you first and foremost. And um, I, I don't take it personally when I get roles like this uh, since it's a team game and uh, we're 11 guys on the pitch plus plus the guys on the bench. So so uh, I take this as a team effort and a team reward. So, But it's always nice to get rewards and recognition, yeah. How have you, when you are just looking at, at your game, how has your game continued to, to grow year in and year out? Um, well, I think I'm a sophomore now, so I think that last year I needed a year to um, get into college soccer. It's a lot different than I've, what I'm used to. Um, so I think this year um, I've just stepped up and, and played more to, uh, to the expectations and the way that I want to play. What was your biggest learning experience last year as a freshman? uh that's a hard question um I, I don't know it's just like all the rules and uh, probably all the rules and and uh like the way college soccer works uh, works it was it was a lot of stuff that i'm not used to and and i think it was just a lot for me to, to get into but now i know how it works and and uh then it just gets easier to uh, focus what's important and that's to uh to play good on the pitch and, and win games every goalkeeper has certain tendencies or ways to describe their game how would you describe your game um i would like to describe my game as a, as a keeper that likes to uh, keep the ball out of the net uh i like to uh own my penalty box and and, and be and be dominant um i also like to um to uh, direct my teammates and, and, and be a, a loud leader on the pitch have you always been a leader um I've been a captain for a few years of my life, but I, I think that a, a leader comes with time and experience too. Uh, obviously, everyone can be a leader when you're 14. It's just like you play with your mates, but now when you, you're older, you play with guys that everyone comes from different backgrounds. And and uh, as of my second year, I think I can, I can give stuff and, and give um, give help and 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 uh, advice to the younger guys and also take the team around my, around my arms and help them. Speaking of your team, how would you describe Marquette men's soccer this season? Um, I would say that we're a very, very um, good team, first and foremost. Uh, I think we're very solid. Uh, we play for each other and we play uh, we play the Marquette way. We play the way that, that our coaches want us to play. And, and it's a great as atmosphere. And, and we're 4-0 all throughout the season and, and uh, just play the way we do, like continue to play the way we do. What makes this Marquette team so solid? Um, I would say that it's attitude. Um, we're a team that, uh, that loves to play for each other and we all, we're all in the same wavelength and we have a great atmosphere in the team. And uh, obviously winning breeds confidence. And right now we have a lot of confidence in our own abilities and our own game. Um, so I think we just need to keep these things going and believe in ourselves. Mm. Let's have a little fun. Let's get to know you and your teammates a little more. So first and foremost, we're going to go rapid fire here. Is there anyone on yeah. your team who you would say is a bit of a chef? A chef? Um, I would say me. Um, mm. I'm, I'm pretty good in the, in the kitchen. Ah, okay. What, what's the, the meal of choice? What, what's the specialty? Um, so me and my, my dad have a, or my dad has a barbecue company. Um, so I usually help him out. So I'm, I'm pretty good at the, at the grill. That is, so that is fun. What, what is your dad's? Is there like a secret sauce that we have? It, or can we get a little bit more of the inside scoop here? <laughs> uh, can't give out any secrets, but uh, as per usual with, with chefs, it's, it's all made by love. And if you mm -hmm. make, your, make your food with love, it usually turns out good. Mm. How about who is the loudest on the team? Uh, in the locker room or on the pitch? Both. We'll go both. In the locker room, I would say um, Mitar is very loud. Uh, and then on the pitch, I, I think we have a lot of loud voices as well. Mm. But I would probably go Mitar on the pitch too, to be fair. Okay. It's very loud, especially towards the refs. <laughs> How about who is um, the team comedian? Team comedian is Nesto. Lucas Nestus. 
Mm. He's a funny guy. We talked a little bit about how you are a leader, also kind of naturally with being the goalkeeper. Who else is a big leader on this team? Well, I will obviously have to say uh, our captain, Christian Marquez. Uh, he brings a lot of, of uh, responsibilities, both on and off the pitch, with uh, having the armband. Um, and I think he uh, he does a, a great job. Uh, but we have a team full of leaders, and and that's the thing. I think you need a lot of leaders to um to be a successful team, and people that um a big group of people that um leads on the pitch and outside the pitch and gets the whole group together. Looking back at, at this season a, a little more, Ludwig, I know it's it's early, we mentioned it, but to start off undefeated, how does that really truly build confidence with you and your teammates? Um, I just think it's a, it's kind of a receipt that uh, we've done the job and that we have um, done the right things. Obviously, as we said, it's early in the season and we need to keep this going, but it, it gets us confidence that we're doing the right things. And uh, if you just keep this going and, and play the way we're supposed to be, but at the same time grow. Uh, we talk a lot about growth and uh, getting better every game. And I think we are doing that. Um, I see a lot of progression every game. And uh, I don't know, I think we can keep this going. What are some of the progressions you've already seen in these four games? Well, obviously, we conceded two the first game. We mm -hmm. haven't conceded since. Um, we look a lot more solid. Uh, we uh, we look more and more like the way we're supposed to play every day in practice and in the games um, too as well. Um, but also the goal scoring, we scored three the first two games, and then we just got six against Detroit Mercy. Um, so so I see a lot of progression all the time in, in a lot of different in a lot of different ways. Your head coach, Louis Bennett, is a legend in, in the soccer world. What, what's it like playing under him? Um, it's great, I think. It's great, I think. Uh, he's a special character. <laughs> uh, but he, uh, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy, and he, and he, knows, he knows his soccer. And uh, I think at the end of the day, he's the guy who um, he makes up the tactic plan. But we have to uh, make sure that we, that we follow his directions, but also play, play like we want to do and uh, I think his view of soccer and our view of soccer goes hand in hand. What's maybe a, a hidden nugget, a golden gem that you've learned from your coach so far? Um, well, before I came here, I played in the, there's a lot of chip and charge, just kick and run, long boss. Uh, but Marquette is a team that wants to play play uh, soccer, so he he's, he's good with analogies. Uh, but he's always said that uh, uh, one of my favorite ones that he said is that you can't you can't uh, force anything like when you make orange juice for example you have to press the orange oranges and you have to do it slowly and calmly because otherwise the orange juice gets everywhere um, so just have patience and, and to like believe in what we're doing is something that i've uh taken away from his oh. what are you saying so i have to know also you are you a big orange juice guy <laughs> uh i don't mind it but i i i, I like water it keeps mm. me Keeps me hydrated the best, I think. Pre-game meal. Uh, we always eat the same thing, actually. Um, yeah. It's pasta, some chicken, and uh, marinara sauce. Beautiful. After a big win, if you could choose your meal of choice, what would it be? If I could choose my meal of choice, it would probably be um, some Swedish meatballs mm. with a uh, mash, gravy, and uh, some lingonberry sauce. Ooh, homemade, are you cooking these up? Because I'm I'm hungry now. <laughs> I, I try to, but not after the game, so I'm usually tired and tied in the head, so. What are some of the big goals that Marquette men's soccer has for this season? Um, we don't really have, like, a, a certain goal. Um, we want to make it as far as possible. Uh, one of my personal goals is to uh, get further than uh, – any Marquette team has ever before, mm -hmm. uh, which is the Sweet 16. Uh, so we'd love to go to the Elite Eight and further. Um, we started off 4 0, so we want to win every single game possible. And uh, I believe we can do that too. And Ludwig, one more time, because I'm not going to say your last name the correct way. Let's hear the correct way to say your last name. 
uh, correct way for my last name is, is Mall Berry, which means uh, gold mountain. Mall is gold and Berry is mountain. So. That's beautiful. I love it. Well, you heard it from him himself, the Big East goalkeeper of the week, Marquette's Ludwig Malberg. Congratulations on the success so far early on in this season. Thank you. Thanks so much.